Cork Harbour is arguably the largest enclosed natural harbour in the world at 181 square kilometres of water area. It's the second largest navigable harbour after Sydney. The harbour has been a safe haven to ships since the Vikings began trading in Cork City in 922 and was deemed the most secure in the world, protected with three forts facing the mouth of the harbour, Camden, Carlisle and Spike Island. The Cork City motto is Statio Bene Fide Carinis, meaning a safe harbour for ships. It is a hive of heritage from the historic town of Cove, Spike Island, Black Rock Castle to the historic city of Cork itself and it was the last port of call of the ill-fated Titanic. Cork City on the River Lee has an unrestricted waterway to the lower harbour. The metropolitan population of Cork City and Harbour area is almost 500,000 and it's the fastest growing city in Ireland. The population is set to further increase with the boundary extension of the city since 2019, where the boundary of the city was doubled in size. The region and harbour has a very diverse economy, from pharmaceutical, technology, medical devices, financial services and tourism. It is home to seven of the world's top 10 pharmaceutical companies and over 50 top technology companies, including Apple and Malwarebytes, plus many European headquarters. Cork Docklands comprises 400 acres of prime riverside land between the north and south docks of the river. The Docklands are being developed into a residential and business hub and includes the recently modernised 45,000-seater sports and events stadium of Parc Quiver. Tourist visitors to the region are set to top the 3 million mark in 2020 and increasing year on year. 114 cruise liners will visit in 2020, bringing almost 300,000 passengers and crew to the harbour. The new Spike Island Museum is a fabulous visitors attraction in the heart of the harbour, having officially opened in 2016. It has already scooped its second prestigious award, being named the best attraction at the International Travel and Tourism Awards 2019. Spike had already won the best European attraction in 2017. The island had over 81,000 visitors in 2019, with the potential to double in the coming years. Black Rock Castle and Observatory is another superb attraction and welcomes 100,000 visitors a year. The castle's rear entrance can be accessed directly by the river. Cove hosts the excellent Titanic experience, St. Coleman Cathedral and much more, and the city has plans for a new heritage and diaspora visitor centre at the former bonded warehouses on the Customs House Peninsula at the city's river basin. Harbour Cat Ferries is to introduce a tourist and commuter ferry service to the harbour. Harbour Cat will utilise the natural waterways of the harbour to ferry passengers on historic tours and link direct into the city centre. The service will open up accessibility to the harbour and river for all to use. Both tourists and commuters will see the harbour sites and enjoy the waterways as never before. The unique, eco-friendly, fast and stylish catamarans with special low-wake technology can ferry passengers in comfort and efficiency to and from the city, Docklands and Outer Harbour communities. The Harbour Cat can offer cross-river connectivity to all reaches of the harbour and can make the harbour communities more connected like never before. The Harbour Cat can open up social inclusion between the city and harbour communities, including Park Uquiva, without the car. There will be complete disabled access via access ramps and docking pontoons at all locations. The infrastructure to deliver this incredible service is relatively simple, as the main natural waterway is already in place. Harbour Cat have identified prime locations throughout the harbour for best access. Cork can have a fabulous commuter and tourist service for very little cost with little disruption while being installed. The proposed service is very eco-friendly and Harbour Cat are further working with UCC Beaufort Institute to pilot sustainable commuter vessels for the future. The Harbour Cat can act as a catalyst to boost the economy, visitor numbers, harbour population, commuter access and ultimately enjoyment of the harbour for all.